1993, a group of uh, military advisors to this project and I met out in the countryside in Virginia. And we decided that it was time for civilians, military, intelligence, and other people to come together to disclose the truth about the subject which is called UFOs. Since that time, I have personally briefed a sitting director of Central Intelligence, James Woolsey, President Clinton's first CIA director. I have personally briefed the head of the Defense Intelligence Agency, the head of Intelligence Joint Staff, members of the Senate Intelligence Committee, many members of Congress, members of the European leadership, the Japanese cabinet and others. And what I have found is that none of them are surprised that this is true, but they are uniformly horrified that they have not had access to these projects. We can establish through these witnesses whom we have identified, which now number over 400, and these are people who have been inside the CIA, NSA, NRO, Air Force, Navy, Marines, Army, all divisions of the intelligence and military community, as well as corporate witnesses, contractors to the government. And these are folks who have been involved in so-called black budget or covert unacknowledged projects. These unacknowledged special access projects are taking in at least 40 to 80 billion dollars per year. And they are sitting on technologies that can change the world forever. Specifically, technologies connected to UFO and extraterrestrial vehicles. If declassified and used for peaceful energy generation and propulsion, would solve the looming energy crisis definitively, would end global warming, would correct the environmental challenges that the Earth is facing, 